In 2026, Tesla seems to have decided it's time to make the impossible seem routine once again. But this time, we're not talking about an electric car with a thousand mile range or a rocket landing in reverse. We're talking about a foldable smartphone and not just any foldable smartphone. Tesla Pi Phone Fold. This is Elon Musk's boldest bet in the consumer electronics market. And the way this device will be manufactured is turning the traditional concept of mass production upside down. Forget everything you've seen with Apple and Samsung. The scale Tesla is projecting is simply absurd. And if the numbers are correct, it will manufacture more foldable devices in the first year than its rivals took years to achieve. The foundation of this entire operation will be supported by two facilities well known to fans of the brand, the Giga Factory Texas in Austin and the Fremont plant in California. But what changes here is the purpose. Instead of producing cars, engines, or batteries, these factories will focus on a new assembly line specifically for the Pi Phone Fold. Specifically, each unit will have the capacity to produce between 120,000 and 150,000 devices per month. Doing the math, that means something between 1.4 and 1.8 million units per year in the first production cycle alone. This is not just ambitious. It's a true declaration of war against the competition. If you think this is an exaggeration, it's worth remembering that rumors indicate Apple's iPhone Fold will only sell 900,000 units in its first year. Meanwhile, Samsung's Galaxy Z Fold 6, considered the current segment leader, sells around 1.2 million units per year. In other words, Tesla wants to enter a new market with a groundbreaking product and immediately overtake everyone else. This isn't just confidence, it's a risky and brilliant move, just the way Elon Musk likes it. He doesn't want to compete, he wants to redefine the bar. Now, can you imagine how difficult it is to scale up the production of a foldable device on this scale? The technical challenge here is enormous. Producing millions of smartphones with moving parts, precise hinges, delicate components, and maintaining high quality control requires an incredible synchronization between engineering, automation, and logistics. But Tesla isn't starting from scratch. On the contrary, it's using all the know-how of the automotive industry to make it work. It's as if it transplanted the heart of a Model Y into a futuristic cell phone. And there's a curious detail. Tesla isn't doing this alone. Behind the scenes information indicates that the brand is creating parallel partnerships with long-standing suppliers in the automotive sector using contracts that previously served to deliver vehicle parts to now assemble foldable cell phones. This allows for something rare in the smartphone industry, predictability in production. While Apple and Samsung depend on a sensitive and fragmented global supply chain, Tesla is building a closed ecosystem where everything can be more closely controlled. This total control isn't just vanity, it allows for real-time decisions fine-tuning of the production line, and even structural changes to the device's design without needing months of negotiation with third parties. This makes a huge difference when we're talking about devices as sensitive as foldable phones, which suffer from higher failure rates than traditional models. And let's face it, a phone breaking in half due to a manufacturing defect is the kind of headline no company wants to see. The transition to the materials used in the Pi Phone Fold happens almost as a natural evolution of this accelerated industrial pace, because it wouldn't make sense to scale so much if the device didn't have a structure capable of withstanding that scale. And this is where Tesla starts playing in a field where it has an absolute advantage, aerospace engineering. The phone's chassis, for example, isn't just beautiful or futuristic. It was designed as if it were a miniature spaceship. The hybrid aerospace-grade aluminum alloy, combined with carbon fiber reinforcements inspired by Starship itself, creates a kind of indestructible shell around the device. And that, let's face it, is exactly the kind of thing Tesla's audience loves to see. 
rocket technology applied to everyday life. These materials weren't chosen just to impress. They directly address the two biggest problems with foldable smartphones, heat and mechanical wear. Most current foldables suffer from overheating during intensive tasks and have hinges that don't last as long as they should. The Pi Phone Fold, with its aerospace-grade structure, promises to withstand temperatures up to 110 degree Leifines without noticeable degradation, practically double the thermal resistance of competing models. This means that even under heavy use, long recordings, gaming, intense multitasking, the device remains robust without the risk of internal damage that plagues foldable users today. And it's not just the exterior that impresses. The hinge, which is usually the most sensitive point of foldable devices, was designed as a critical component, almost like a moving part of an industrial robotic arm. Tesla designed this hinge to withstand more than 500,000 opening and closing cycles, a number so high that in practice, it's equivalent to opening the device more than 180 times a day for seven years without failure. Of course, nobody does that in real life, but this kind of technical overkill shows how Tesla likes to design with the future in mind, without fear of exaggerating a little to guarantee durability. What's most interesting is seeing how Tesla's philosophy is reflected in these details. While other brands treat the hinge as a delicate, almost fragile part, Tesla sees it as a robust mechanical component, worthy of being in an industrial machine. And this completely changes how the user interacts with the phone. It doesn't give that feeling of, be careful or it will break. On the contrary, it conveys confidence, something rare in this type of device. It's as if the phone is saying, you can use it without fear. I was made for this. Another point worth mentioning is how the use of carbon fiber in the chassis is not just a marketing ploy. This material, derived from Starship prototypes, creates a rigid yet lightweight internal structure, better distributing the stress caused by constant opening and closing. This reduces microcracks, misalignments, and minor deformations that typically appear over time in traditional foldables. Here, the impact of aerospace engineering on consumer electronics is clearly noticeable. This choice of materials also offers an advantage against an old enemy of smartphones, accidental drops. Although no device is 100% indestructible, the combination of aerospace-grade aluminum and carbon acts as a reinforced jacket for the Pi Phone Fold. Small impacts are absorbed more evenly, and even more serious drops are less likely to damage internal parts. It's no exaggeration to say that Visually, it may resemble a regular phone, but structurally, it's closer to a professional engineering tool. And since we're talking about resistance and durability, the thermal management provided by these materials helps not only to maintain stable performance, but also to extend the lifespan of everything inside. Circuits, batteries, sensors, all work better when not subjected to extreme heat. This creates a positive ripple effect. Components last longer, the user experience remains consistent, and the device retains its value for longer. It's the kind of detail that, for some, may go unnoticed, but makes a huge difference in the long run. This entire process only works because, behind the sophisticated appearance of the Pi Phone Fold, lies an assembly engineering that borders on the surreal. Tesla isn't just assembling a cell phone. It's choreographing an automated production line that looks more like a dance between surgically precise robots. It all starts with the installation of the hinges, a critical component that requires millimeter accuracy. And here, there's no room for error. The torque of each screw is monitored by highly sensitive sensors that measure down to 0.01 Newton meters. That's right, tenths of a force. A poorly made adjustment and the foldable device could start creaking or warping after a few weeks. Something unacceptable for a Tesla product. But this obsession with precision doesn't stop there. The internal welding of the phone's frame, for example, is done with ultrasonic welding, a technique that literally vibrates the parts until they fuse at a molecular level. 
This ensures a more cohesive structure without solder residue or flaws common in manual assembly. And all of this is supervised by optical inspection systems with artificial intelligence. These cameras don't just look at what's being done. They analyze, compare, adjust, and even pause production if they detect an anomaly. It's as if each robot had an invisible engineer telling it what to do in real time. According to recent leaks, this automated inspection system has the potential to reduce mechanical failures in hinges and microfractures by up to 40%. And look, that's a huge number when we're talking about foldable phones. Just take a look at Galaxy Fold user forums or rumors about the future foldable iPhone. Problems like misaligned screens, creaking hinges, and sharp creases are recurring. If Tesla manages to deliver a phone with a significantly lower failure rate, it will completely change the market's perception of foldable phones. From fragile and expensive to reliable and durable. And you can't ignore the automotive DNA in all of this. Tesla is basically repurposing robots from the automotive industry to assemble pocket electronics. This includes adapted robotic arms, alignment systems inherited from battery assembly, and even automated carbon layup techniques that came directly from Tesla's most sophisticated models, such as the Roadster or the Cybertruck prototypes. It's a Frankenstein of industrial technology that, in the end, generates something meticulous, elegant, and functional. Bizarre? Maybe. Brilliant? Definitely. Another advantage of this approach is consistency. Each phone that comes off the production line is practically a clone of the previous one. And this is essential when dealing with mobile components. Unlike regular smartphones, where small variations don't usually affect usability much, foldable phones require almost absolute precision to avoid problems with gaps, misalignments, and thermal leaks. A small deviation at one point and the entire internal cooling system can fail. This is where the combination of artificial intelligence and robotics comes in. Once calibrated, the line executes each assembly like a digital Swiss watch. While most smartphone manufacturers still suffer from delays, logistical bottlenecks, and reliance on multiple third-party suppliers, Tesla is simply applying its philosophy of total vertical integration to the supply chain of the Pi Phone Fold. And the craziest part? It's working. What was once exclusive to the automotive industry, with buffer stocks, local suppliers, and control over every stage of production, is now being replicated in the consumer electronics universe, where every screw typically comes from a different corner of the planet. Elon Musk basically looked at the global logistical chaos and said, no, thank you. Starting with the screens, which are the sensitive heart of any foldable device, Tesla has made agreements to import flexible OLED panels directly from South Korea, possibly with suppliers that already supply companies like Samsung. However, unlike its competitors, it doesn't depend on precise delivery at the exact moment. Tesla created a parallel sub-assembly line with reserve stock, capable of keeping production active for up to a whole month, even if external supply is interrupted. This is almost unheard of in the world of cell phones, but extremely common in car factories. The high-performance chips, another sensitive point in any modern device, will come from TSMC in Taiwan, the same giant that manufactures Apple's processors. Smaller components, such as flexible circuits and ultra-thin copper connectors, will be supplied by Japanese companies. Interestingly, even with suppliers spread across Asia, Tesla isn't tied to just-in-time logistics. On the contrary, it's protecting itself with tactical inventories, something only those with working capital and strategic courage can do. And here's where the charm of vertical integration comes in. More than 70% of the final assembly process will be done in-house within Tesla's own factories. This includes everything from manufacturing the hinges to welding the chassis, assembling the internal modules, and quality testing. This not only ensures more control over the product, but also reduces the chance of chain errors. When a defect from an external supplier 
compromises the entire batch. If something goes wrong, Tesla fixes it in-house without having to wait weeks for a third-party solution. This level of control also speeds up decision-making. If a flaw is identified in a component coming from Japan, for example, Tesla can redirect its assembly line to a reserve batch, adjust the design, or even apply updates directly in the factory without interrupting the entire operation. That's industrial agility at its highest level. And honestly, it's hard to think of another electronics company that could do this with the same speed. Apple and Samsung, as giants as they are, still need to negotiate, review contracts, and align changes. Tesla just does it. Another smart move was to position the production of critical batteries and electronic modules in the United States, more precisely in Texas. This not only reduces logistical costs, but also ensures greater energy and technological security. The semiconductor crisis in recent years has shown how dangerous it is to depend 100% on imports. Tesla learned from this and is betting on domestic production for the most sensitive items, especially those related to the energy system, which will be the subject of the next topic. And here, my friend, the conversation starts to get even more interesting. Because if there's one thing that has always bothered people in the world of smartphones, especially foldable ones, it's the charging time. That endless wait to leave the house with a minimally charged battery seems like a thing of the past when we talk about Tesla Pi Phone. Fold Tesla simply changed the game by incorporating a battery that borders on the unbelievable, an aluminum ion module that goes from zero to 100% in something between nine and 12 minutes. That's right. While competitors are still heating up the charger, the Pi Phone Fold is already ready for another full day. Of course, most users won't believe this right away, and rightly so. After all, until now, smartphone batteries have always been based on lithium polymer or lithium ion, with charging times ranging from 60 to 90 minutes. But internal leaks, coupled with laboratory tests revealed by suppliers, indicate that Tesla is truly ahead in this area. The formula? A combination of smaller, highly dense cells and an active cooling system derived directly from the battery engineering of the brand's electric vehicles. These Allian modules, as they are being called, have an estimated total capacity of between 2200 and 2400 metatermae, distributed across two compartments for thermal and structural balance. This may seem modest in numbers, but the secret lies in energy efficiency. Thanks to the optimized architecture and temperature control using graphene and microfluidic channels, the system avoids performance losses, even under intensive use. In other words, even with less nominal capacity, the actual energy delivery is more stable and utilized to the last percent. One detail that might go unnoticed but is crucial is durability.